A heated debate over this question. Should Sacramento become a toll town? Now, the plan would add a toll lane in both directions on I-80 from Davis to West El Camino Avenue and from the US 50 junction to the WX freeway. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp is live along the Yolo Causeway with more on the proposal and certainly the pushback as well, Ashley. Hey guys, yeah, we're here at the West El Camino Avenue exit where those proposed toll lanes would start. The biggest question tonight, what is the cost of this project? Aside from the $465 million price tag, it's three years of construction on some of the busiest stretches of the Yolo Causeway and Highway 50. So tonight, the debate began. Should Caltrans construct a new toll lane or look for another option? Pictures on poster board line the room as Caltrans drives heated conversation. It's the first public meeting for a first of its kind proposal to possibly bring an express toll lane to Sacramento freeways. Caltrans gave the green light for debate as some Yolo County neighbors say pump the brakes. No, I'm not for it. And why should we be penalized to be able to cross the causeway to get to different places? The main proposal is to add a toll lane on I-80 and Highway 50 corridors between Sacramento and Davis so people who want to skip the heavy traffic can, either by paying up or having a higher number of passengers in the car. And the toll lane will allow the top, the richest 25% of the public to opt out of congestion and leaving the rest of us in congestion. Ellen Hirsch is with the advocacy group YOLO Mobility and says the proposal is an environmental failure. It's why his group plans to sue Caltrans. I'm not sure this is really meaningful until it goes to court. For some, the fear over who is paying up brought them to the meeting. We got hosed six years ago on a tax bill by Caltrans. They represented us that our freeways were going to fall down. That money disappeared. It went to other causes. CBS 13 asked Caltrans, will taxes be raised to pay for this? The answer, no. It's funded through the existing gas tax and state and federal grants. It's the people that are, that are utilizing it every day that are paying into the system. The, the benefit is ultimately for the people. Caltrans says that the money paid into the toll lane would fund public transportation in Yolo County and also the Capital Corridor Railway System. Now, if you want to give your input, Caltrans does have a survey online that you can take and tell them your feedback. They are also having another public meeting, the second of two meetings like the one tonight in Davis. That's going to be on December 13th. Guys?